Now we also need to install Visual Studio. Visual Studio is the container of many things. For instance, you can create programs in VB.NET or C Sharp. And with regards to SQL Server, you can also install SSIS, SSAS and SSRS. So we're going to install this program. Now you can see the requirements are fairly minimal. You need at least Windows 7 Service Pack 1. So if you've got Windows 8, Windows 10, you're fine. And we're going to be installing the Community Edition. So that is a free edition. Now this web page, I just Googled Visual Studio 2019 requirements and you see there are actually links to downloading them. But I'll start from the beginning. I'll go to Google and I'll type Visual Studio 2019. And you can see here is the current website. And I'm going to go to the download section. So visualstudio.microsoft.com forward slash downloads. If it moves, it should be fairly swift to be able to find a new place. So let's click on the free download under the community. So you can see it's free. So click download, either Windows or Mac OS using the Windows edition. And here you can see it's the bootstrap that's the very the small program is very small but then you get the installer so i'm going to minimize everything apart from the bootstrap okay so let's click continue so always make sure you've got good virus protection so it's just downloading the next section of the files now Visual Studio seems to have a major update every two years. So Visual Studio 2017, 2015, I think it was 2012 before that. And the versions, they change a little bit, but they're not usually huge changes. However, there has been a bit of a change with Visual Studio 2019, and that is how you actually install the second bit, the bit that relates to SQL Server. What we have to do in this workload section is go all the way down to other tool sets. So it's the last section and click on data storage and processing, connect to SQL server. So click that and over here on the right hand side, you'll see it's going to download some optional data tools. That's fine. So you can see the total space required about eight gigabytes once you include the bootstrap and so forth. So Click install. And as you might imagine, there's going to be an awful lot of downloading and installing coming up. So here you can see it's downloading in the background and there are quite a number of packages to install 292. And it's now a waiting game is going to be downloading and installing a lot of packages. So I'm going to continue the recording, but I'm going to speed it up and then we'll see what happens. So as you can see, no problems installing. So I'm going to reboot the computer and then we can open Visual Studio Community. So now I've installed Visual Studio, let's open it. So I'll go to Start Menu and go to Visual Studio 2019. So for the first time you run it, it's just going to get things ready. So I'm going to click on Continue Without Code. Just want to click through. Now, if I go to File, New, Project, SSRS features are not yet here. So to install the SSRS component, I have to go to Extensions, Manage Extensions, and I go to Online and the Visual Studio Marketplace. And here you can see Microsoft Reporting Services Projects. So I click on Download. So as you can see, 154 megabytes. So it may be swift depending where you are. It may just take a minute or two. And you can see that my changes, well, my new extension will begin when the Microsoft Visual Studio windows are closed. So let's close and exit out of Visual Studio. And now you can see it is being installed.
Now it used to be that you downloaded something called SQL Server Data Tools, SSDT. But with Visual Studio 2019, that is now no longer a standalone download and instead you download it using the extensions path that we've just gone through. We go to extensions, manage extensions. So yes, I want to modify my program, my Visual Studio program with Microsoft reporting services. And so it's now installing it into Visual Studio. It's very odd terminology, modifying, but that's what it's doing. So you can see that it's downloaded and installed. No problems. So I'll close that, open up Visual Studio 2019 again. Continue without code. And if you go to File, New Project, and type in reporting, you can see that we have a reporting server project wizard and a reporting server project. So now we have got Visual Studio and SSRS installed. If I go up to File New Project and look for SSIS or integration, then there's nothing there. What we have to do is install this separately. And the way we do that is to go to Extensions and Manage Extensions online the visual studio marketplace and search for integration so there we can see the official microsoft sql server integration services projects so i'm going to click download on that and run so it's 408 megabytes so as you can see you just take a minute to download so i'll just speed up this part of the video so now it's downloaded. Always make sure you've got virus scanners. So here we go. So click next, install into Visual Studio Community 2019. And it says, I need to close DevEnv, whatever that means. Well, that is basically Visual Studio. So let's close Visual Studio. So install again. And here you can see that it is going to now just install. So going to again, speed up the video and you can watch it install. And now you can see that SSIS has been installed with no problems. So now if I go and open up Visual Studio, continue without code and go to file, new project and search for integrations you can see that we have an integration services project which we can now use to start SSIS however if I go to file new project and look for SSAS or look for analytical then you'll see that our program has not been installed we have to add it into Visual Studio and we do that by going to extensions manage extensions and go to online and the Visual Studio Marketplace. And you'll see here we have Microsoft Analysis Services Projects. So click download. Now it's quite a hefty download, 330 megabytes. So it'll probably take a minute or two to download. So you can see it's downloaded and it says your changes will be scheduled. The modifications will begin when Visual Studio is closed. It's not very easy to understand language but basically close Visual Studio and it will it calls itself modify it will add into Visual Studio the SSAS extension that we're going to be using and it's a very easy install after this initializing phase is over We'll see, do you want to modify Visual Studio with the SSAS? So I'll click on modify if you're happy for it to be installed. And then it just installs. So again, I'll speed up the video and you can see it being installed. 
So you can see that SSAS has been installed fine. Your modifications have been successfully applied. So let's now open up Visual Studio 2019. Go to File, New, Project. And if we now look for analytical, we'll find we have the ability to create a new SSAS MDX project. At some point, you might be asking yourself, is Visual Studio 2019 Community Edition a trial version? After all, you may see a dialog box saying that your trial license will expire at a certain point. Well, don't worry, it's not actually a trial version and it won't cost you any money to get a full license. All you have to do is click Update License and sign in to Visual Studio. Now, if you don't have a Visual Studio account, then just create one and this will launch a web page where you'll be able to create a Microsoft account but I'm going to sign in with my Microsoft account. So I'll just um, sign in. Click next. Type in my password. And after a moment, you'll see that the trial version has disappeared and now it is a full version of the Visual Studio community. So it's saying it's only a trial version, but it isn't. It's just waiting for you to sign in and say, this is me and I want to license it to this particular email address. So that's how you get rid of any questions about your trial version will expire at a certain point.